Hello, everyone, and welcome to the world premiere of 20th Century Fox's Kung Fu Panda 3, right here from the iconic Chinese theater in Hollywood, California. How cool is this? I am Cameron Matheson from Entertainment Tonight, and I am so thrilled to be here for this big fan of these movies, and we are thrilled that you are joining us for a front row seat for this red carpet premiere of Kung Fu Panda 3. Now, the carpet is red over here, but on the other side of the barrier that you see behind me, it's green, and I'm gonna be throwing to our Carly Steele, who's on that green carpet right now. And by the way, I think she's been working on her Kung Fu a little bit, and I think she's got a new sparring partner. Carly, how's it going Hi, over yeah. there? <laughs> I don't know about that, Cameron. Um, you know, I've been working a little bit, hitting the Pilates, but I'm not quite sure I'm ready to take on Poe, the dragon warrior himself who is behind me. But yeah. I am, however, ready to take on some of the yeah. biggest stars in Hollywood. Shall we name some names? The, drop, drop some names, Carly. I'm going to drop it like a hot dumpling. We're talking Angelina <laughs> Jolie Pitt, Jack Black, Kate Hudson, Dustin Hoffman. I mean, this carpet is ridiculous. Ridiculous. How about We're newly Oscar nominated Brian Cranston too? J.K. Simmons is going to be here this morning too. We've got all the big names coming to join us uh, all of this them. morning. And, and of course, we want to welcome everyone from around the country and in Canada here who's watching the world premiere of Kung Fu Panda 3. Cameron and I are already having an awesome time. Hollywood Boulevard has been transformed into a Chinese extravaganza. We're talking dragons dumplings, dancers. It's I've never really experienced Hollywood Boulevard quite like this. Have you, Cameron? No, this is, listen, they transform this for parties like this, for festivities. Like This, this is a highly anticipated film coming out. Such a, a fan favorite, the Kung Fu Panda franchises. And uh, Carly and I are anxiously awaiting those uh, big stars to come and join us this morning. But in the meantime, the people that are here celebrating with us, like uh, Carly had mentioned, there's things to do, man. We've got some food laid out on the other side. We've got some arts and crafts for the kids. We've got press from all over the world down here. Can we get a shot of this, of the red carpet? Hollywood Boulevard, baby. Look out, this is, where, this is where it all happens. Jack Black, come on up here. Bring your boys, bring your boys. Come on up, guys. Hey, man. How's it going? It's going fantastic. How's it going with you? Very good. Very Come excited. Here, team. Come on in here, team. Brought my boys. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Listen, how cool are you to them, considering, obviously, now, they're at an age now where they're starting to get it, right? Yeah. I'm weirdly not cool to them, but uh, I think that's just the natural way of fatherhood. No kid can think their dad is cool. We're all inherently uncool. Keeps but, us humble. Yeah, exactly. But I think they're stoked to be here. Tommy, you excited to see Kung Fu Panda? Yeah. He yeah, saw it. He is. They already saw it. We showed it at their school a couple days ago, and they loved it. But Sammy, you excited for Kung Fu Panda Part Yeah, I'm very excited for them to see it in theaters, because I play a part in it. And, I'm in, and it's the first movie I was ever in. That's so I'm right. very excited for people to see. That's but right. Sammy's in it. He plays one of the bunnies. The very first one. Yeah, but I know they're not going to see my face, but that doesn't matter because I don't really want them to. Yeah, they don't see my face either. <laughs> but they're seeing your face right now. See, seeing your face right now. And by the way, styling, dude. This is fantastic. Thank you. And right now, of course, Angelina Jolie Pitt is making her way up to the main stage. The so loved Tigress causing a stir, causing a stir on the red carpet. There you go. Thank you. All your fans around, I'm, thanks for taking the time to chat with us. This is so exciting for you, and probably, maybe more so than ever, uh, it's because it is more of a family affair um, than a lot of your a lot of your productions. Talk a little bit about what it means to you as a mom to have your kids be part of this and to hear their voices in this. I've only heard a tiny piece, but I was yeah. We haven't. Well, they're going to be here later, and it's going to be the first time they they see it. So they're all very excited and getting dressed right now and uh, and and uh, no it was uh, of course it's um if you can if you can play and work with your kids what what better so we went in and, and to the booths and and uh, and I but I, the only the only problem was with it was uh, I think they thought uh, after doing a few hours of it they, they kind of said <laughs> that's what you do for a living mom like right. that's your that was easy right the first like 30 seconds was like oh this is awesome and I then like two it was more it was more like okay we're gonna work we're gonna work okay. with mom we're gonna go see what this is we're gonna act today uh -huh. and I, so I got them through it and then they said like that's acting that's not so bad, that's not so, like, bad. Oh, so I lost any kind of like cred for uh, for right. it being a difficult job but we thought it was so hard when you went to work yeah you need to come back nah, yeah, it's fine it. no now, first of all what makes Tigress so cool because she is 
Oh, I like to think so. I think she's just, um, she's somebody who's very, uh, she's a fighter. She is, she's, she's tough. She's really, really tough, but deep down, she's, she's a really good, good friend. She's pretty solid. She's one of those people where you get in trouble, you'd, you'd call her, so that's good. And How you doing, man? How are you? How's hello, it going? hello. This hey, is Reiner. Yeah, it this is. This is a first for me. I don't usually do this. Nope. You, you brought them. I did. I brought my kids. You were on the fence about it, but you made a decision. Is this fun being here with your mom? Come on. <laughs> it is. I'm pretty proud of her. This is really cool. Aww. You have the coolest mom, by the way. We everyone just loves her. She's fabulous. Have you seen the film yet? No. This is going to be the first time. She's awesome in it. Well, we're excited. It's going to be fun. This is fun. And this is fun for the kids because it's a little bit, it's different. Hey, Kate, yeah. you got to tell everybody that's uh, watching this in the theaters that, you know, wondering about your new character, May May. Oh, we, yeah, May May. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us a little bit about May May and uh, what we can expect. Uh, May May is, she's pretty fabulous. Uh, she's quite the diva. And <laughs> she's, um, she's a really fun character. She... Is, has a thing for Poe, although she right. likes to sort of mask it as he has a thing for her. Um, but she's, you know, she doesn't censor herself and how much she actually loves herself. She's very much, and she's quite a dancer. She's a ribbon dancer. We've no. got Dustin Hoffman awaiting at the, at okay. the bottom of the stairs to well, join us. So him. we're going to like let you enjoy the festi okay. let you enjoy the festivities, and we'll get Dustin enjoy. a little Shifu up on here. Thanks. Hey, Kate, congratulations, okay. Mr. Hoffman. Okay. Hello there. I am. <laughs> you're, trying to, you're trying to put me in. Here, you take the mic. I'll go down there. I'll walk the red carpet. Listen, you're a lot stronger than I thought you'd be, man. It's all that kung fu. Yes. That's about as This movie's as close to kung fu as I'll ever get. Well, I was pretty impressed by it. It is such an honor to, to meet you, sir. And I know, uh, listen, in your career and all of the things that you've accomplished, how much fun is it for you to have the opportunity to play a character like Shifu again and again? Well, what makes it the most fun is that once you've done it the first time, you don't have to go looking for your character for the second one. So it is, it, yes, I've never had that uh, privilege before. I've never had any sequels. Wow, what a, uh, what a week it is for you. <laughs> it's been a busy week. Whoa! I had laundry on Monday. You had laundry on Monday, right? Yeah, I had to visit my mother-in-law on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, washed the car on Wednesday and got an Oscar nomination on Thursday. On Thursday. It's been, uh, you know. But other than that, it's been totally normal. Normal. And now the world premiere of Kung Fu Panda 3 on Saturday. I know. Isn't that it's fun? Cool. It's a great movie. This is a fun adventure family film. I'm very proud of it because it, it has, uh, there's a sense of camaraderie and teamwork that in order to get something done and accomplished, you need family. I was just like saying to others as well, I mean, Oscar winner, multiple award winning actor, and and here you are, a voice but you're talking right about here. Dustin Hoffman. No, well, I did, I did, but now you as well. I mean, laying a voice on one of these uh, characters, uh, although, albeit the villain in the film, still so much fun. Oh, absolutely, and playing the villain, as, as my daughter would say, is uh, the, the best part to do. And you know what I noticed seeing the film is that, and I know spoilers uh, for those in the theater right now, but you bring a lot of humor to it, which we really appreciate as viewers, as fans. Yeah, well, and the writers and directors brought a lot of humor to it, too. So I, I was really happy to see that that aspect was uh, part of the character. Now, oh, in your own life, uh, would you say maybe less Kai, more Poe? Would you say more Poe? More... That's a really good question. Uh, hopefully a little yin-yang thing going on so, so I got both of them and, uh, and keep them both under control. Okay, all right. I just, I, I feel embarrassed to interrupt that. I know those are like kind of the nice moments on the red carpet. I think I was Brian for a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Too bad you, you're stuck talking to me. No, I'm thrilled. Okay. Great. Well, listen, obviously Lucy playing Viper, kind of a, a motherly character in the uh, in the five. Talk a little bit about um, how your character's kind of grown in Kung Fu Panda 3 and, and also how much fun it is for you uh, to be part of this such iconic and, and fan-friendly uh, franchise. Well, first of all, it's fantastic to be a part of a, a, a movie that is for kids, and it's a it's an animated feature, obviously, and I have a son now, so that kind of makes it even more fun to know that he'll be watching this at some point in his life and really enjoying it as much as everyone else has. And we've got an incredible cast also, and I mean, I love the story behind it, too, about the adopted father and the father and the birth father. It's just wonderful. Yeah.
Thank you for uh, for joining us here. Congratulations uh, on this film, on the third installment. It's so good. Thank you. It's a huge, epic story. We want to do something bigger and more crazy and funny than ever before. So I'm so glad people are excited. It's very it's very exciting for fans too who love this franchise. Yeah, that means a lot to us. Because if anything, working on a movie that is a sequel like this, we know that it's a lot about delivering a character that people already love so much and is their friend. So our job and the pressure we had was to truly deliver him to, to his fans and to, his, to the ones who consider him a friend. What a treat. I mean, so many people looking forward to this. So many magic moments at the world premiere of Kung Fu Panda 3, man, I gotta tell you something, chatting with all of the stars, doing the voices on this film, such a blast for me, and I know for you too, Carly. Oh, Cameron, it's been incredible. Enjoy the show. Yeah, enjoy it, everybody. You're gonna love it. Everybody was coming.